Hey collectors, Anthony from Ashes Night here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy United, G1 Universe Quake, Heater, and Tip Top. So a while back, uh, they did a Quake that was a Headmaster, technically not accurate towards the animated stuff in the comic books. He is a Target Master, so you see in his hands he has two. But before we get to that, uh, let's just take a quick look at his box. Uh, his box, of course, has him in his alt form with his Target Masters. Um, you know, it's fine. Uh, here is uh, Robot Mode and his Target Masters are in their alt modes. Uh, the conversion chart here, 24 steps, and I wonder if it's 24 steps is combined for all of them. So this is one step, one step, and then 22. I don't know. I don't know. A uh, typical um, Legacy United side panel, and of course nothing else going on. And it did come with instructions. Then don't hurt yourself, paper. So remember, don't hurt yourself. So while we have him here, just take a quick look at him, and he keeps up the um, knight motif of the Target Masters with the Decepticons. With the uh, head situation there, it's actually pretty nifty. You can go up. I actually like the the maroon and dark blue coloring you got with the gray. Um, although, because we with so much time we have, uh, well, like every other tank has black treads, so to, to be a little bit of different. Now, a uh, quick note: uh, this and the Target Masters were in a piece of paper in the back of the box, so don't accidentally throw that away. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's that's basically him in a nutshell. So let's just get these guys out of the way first. I don't know which is which, uh, but, uh, yeah, I think the box says which is which. So Heater's the blue one and Tip Top is the purple one. Okay, so conversion is simple. Just fold the bottom and voila. So here's the first one. And yeah, he's fine. Uh, and then here is the second one. Also, also fine. You know, nah, nah. Um, of course, he can hold him in his hands like you saw. And then when we get to tank mode, uh, there you can just attach him to certain places here. And um, so this is a remold-ish of Skullgren. And I want to state a point that I saw in other people's reviews of him. The hands fall off easily. They're, they're, I put the uh, the target masters in them, and one of the wrists came off. Although now, because I'm on camera, I guess it isn't going to work that way. But it's because they're they don't rotate, and they simply basically go underneath like this, so you can start the conversion. And um, so I guess that's fine. Sure, I I know there's a, like a lot of differences between the conversion here. And uh, you're basically trying to get this around here while converting everything else up. And it is an interesting conversion, to say the least. And uh, there's, this, there's a lot of unfolding. And it kind of reminds me of uh, Warpath in that way. So, yeah. I'm, is this panel? Okay, so let's, let's try to... There you go. So it does make me wonder, like, was Warpath the inspiration for this? Come on. Turn the knee. There we go. Try not to stretch it too far. Um, because you're basically creating the entire side through this conversion. And uh, so that's what you're trying to do anyway. And uh, I can get the piece to go. There we go. Then duplicate that on the other side. I... It is... I mean, it feels intuitive once you get to it. Uh, essentially, once you get the pieces can flipped around, you can clip it together and you're... Basically, the bottom and top are, are done separately. If I can get the piece to... See, there's a clip and another one in the middle. But it's not being cooperative. Oh, maybe it's not flush. Hold on, let's see. Because it's like the gap is there's like the gap is there. That's that's it. There's nothing more to do with it. But uh, maybe the knee has to be flush. There. It's really fickle. Yeah. 
I mean, that seems right. It, it hmm. Because this is this is perfectly flush. All right, let's put it together. We have to tweak afterwards, we will. But uh, there we go, and we're basically halfway done here. Um, trying to remember the orientation of the arms, because they end up forming a part, and they link together, as you can see, uh, with these pieces here. Uh, this piece comes off, as I mentioned, it is separate. Uh, you can keep it on during the conversion if you want. Uh, I've been told that it is easier not to, but, you know, you do you. And, uh, let's see if I bring these in. I'm trying to figure out the position on the arms. Uh, like this, and then like this. Does that seem right? Am I not in the right place, or... Am I? Okay, cool. And then, so maybe, no, I was like, was I supposed to put them the other way? I guess we'll find out in a sec if this sits like it's supposed to. Oh, no, I feel like I did do something wrong because this isn't, oh, there we go. Okay, these have to be pushed in the other way to get the leg to do that. Okay, there we go. So that was the, the issue I was having. And then, okay, so the arms are correct-ish. There we go. Yeah. Uh, get, just get him, <laughs> just get him to sit. Sit, doggy. There we go. And then we can pull the barrel forward. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay. It's not the tightest package. I may have done something wrong, but uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, the Turret um, rotates on that five uh, millimeter peg, but uh, you only keep it down in the front like this. Uh, if you go over the sides, it will force itself up, or if you're like me, it'll apparently push itself off. But uh, yeah, that's decent enough if you do it right. I mean, from the side, visually, you can't tell the treads don't continue all the way, and then you look in the back and then you're like, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so these guys. Um, I, I think I'm in agreement with some of the other guys who've already reviewed this figure. I think they look better at the bottom. Um, you could put them all on the top, but I think that looks a lot more menacing than having them squished up in the top there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's really nice. And, and that is Quake. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.